Right, hello guys, I'm Bang 7 and today is just going to be a quick unbagging and um, basically I went to the, my local Smith's um, Superstore and bought some figures um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you basically what I've got I went in there and they had quite a large selection, I've never been in Smith's before been in Toys R Us a few times and they always seem to have the usual Cena and CM Punk basically so I went to Smith's and had a, a wider, uh, a bigger range so the first one I've got is from I believe it's the series 19 and it's the Kofi Kingston uh, figure um, quite a good price not $9.99 as you can see quite a good light piece of Kofi the head sculpt not bad at all and that's the back and it shows you the other guys in the series so yeah I've got Kofi Kingston not a huge fan of Kofi Kingston I must admit but got to start collecting the figures somewhere so I picked that one up the next one I saw I mean I don't like this character at all but he's quite funny looks like a cool figure actually I'm not quite Surprise, so I picked him up as well, and that's the Hornswoggle. And I've heard from some of the other YouTubers that uh, he is quite hard to come by. So, as you can see, look, his face is huge on the head sculpt there. There we go, that's Hornswoggle. And that's the back, it's the same as the Kofi Kingston. That's the other guys in the line. So that's also from the um, series 19, I believe. And the, the next one I've got from the same series is a first time in the line. And all these are 9 99 actually, so quite a good price. And it's the Jinder Mahal figure. There we go, as you can see, first in the line. And to me, and looks nothing like him but I guess you know it's his first time Mattel I've done a scan of his face so here he goes a close look not too bad I guess and there's the back same of all the others in the uh, in that series there you go all right and the other two guys I've got I know some of you guys ain't going to like this, but um, yeah, you got to start with a John Cena figure somewhere. And uh, this is the Series 14 John Cena Elite. And uh, the price was $12.99, which weren't bad. So as you go, as you can see, Mr. Cena. And on the back, you just have a picture of his autograph. Which is quite weird because I've actually got his autograph and I'll just show you over here. I got this from the Alive event at Raw last April. And you can see that. That's his autograph down there. And that's the autograph on there which is similar but not the same. So yeah. I know not everyone's a Cena fan but you've got to start somewhere so... That's why I got this one, and last but not least, picked up one of my favourite wrestlers of all time. The same same series, Elite 14, and uh, yeah, 12.99. The Undertaker, personally a must have. Let's see if we can get a close up there. There we go. And the other figures in this line. Is Alberto de Rio, which I'm looking for. Now they had the rock there, but personally, I think the head sculpt looks terrible. So I'm not going to pick the rock up just because it just looks nothing like the rock. But this Undertaker is actually a very good likeness. I'm quite surprised about that. Nice white shiny teeth. I believe they've done the same thing with Edge a couple of series ago where he had massive white teeth. It's a shame really because I'm a really big fan of Edge but I think the figure didn't do him justice. 
So yeah, so little recap, I've got The Undertaker, John Cena Elite, I've got the uh, Jinder Mahal, Hornswoggle, Mr Midget Man, and Tag Team Champion, Kofi Kingston. And while I'm at it, I just want to show you, I've got some uh, Blu-ray and DVD pickups the other day. I picked up the WrestleMania 3 disc, WrestleMania 20 3 disc DVD. I've not watched it yet. I remember watching it live on the pay-per-view, but it's got some good extras in this one, so I'm looking forward to watching that. I've got the WrestleMania 24 Blu-ray. So, watch that again. And last but not least, WrestleMania 28 Blu-ray. Extras on this one are just pretty boring. The special features are just basically the recounting the Raw WrestleMania, the uh, Undertaker and the Triple H, and then the special features, the Rock and the John Cena once in a lifetime uh, encounter. So you basically saw them on the Raw live shows when the Rock was doing his promos. So yeah, that's my first unbagging. Oh, as you can see, I'm wearing my Miz Awesome T-shirt. There we go. Looks fantastic, a great fan of the Miz. Some good things to come for him in the future, hopefully. And uh, until next time, I'll speak to you guys soon.